Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Polly Esther here. This is my second YouTube channel called Polly Pops, where I make videos about my hobby of collecting these Funko Pop figures you see here behind me. And well, the other day I found out that there was going to be a Funko Pop convention in Mississauga called the Funko Popalooza. And I got this information thanks to Josh over at Funko News Canada. I saw that on the Instagram and I said, Funko Pop Palooza, what is this all about? So I went on the Funko Pop Palooza Facebook page and I saw some advanced pictures of a few of the things that the vendors plan to bring to the convention. And I said, yeah, this is fire. So it was in a small community center, about 50 tables. Uh, I don't know how many vendors would be, let's say 20, maybe two dozen vendors there. And yeah, I had a great time. It was $5 admission to get in. And it was on the Saturday before Mother's Day. So I found out about it on Friday and I asked my wife and she said, so you're telling me that I have to go to a Funko Pop convention on my Mother's Day weekend? And I said, Yes, <laughs> so she was a good sport about it, and we agreed that I wouldn't be there terribly long. Just do you know once around, which wound up being a twice around the convention, and then we went to the local mall afterwards and uh, had a great family day. So, uh, yeah, so we went in, and the first thing that I bought was something that I had spied on the Facebook page that I knew that I wanted to get, and it were these Target exclusive. Dream Team 1992 NBA Funko Pops. So we have here Magic Johnson. Now these have those old um, silver and red special edition stickers. These came out... What year is that? Thousand, oh, these are the embossed ones. They're hard to read. I have them in Protectos here too. So let's see. What year is that? 2021. The Team USA Dream Team from 1992. Um, all of the... This is when they allowed all of the professional athletes from the NBA to go play on uh, the Olympic team. So that's Team USA Magic Johnson. And I also got Carl the Mailman Malone. And... Scotty, I Need a Private Jet Pippin. So we got those three. There's a few more in the set. I'm going to track uh, at least a couple of those down from Pop Culture over in Australia. Those were the only ones this vendor had. And it was a great price at three for 25. And I got him to throw in this Jabberwockies figure for another $5. So $30 for those four pops. So I think we were off to a great start. It's a great, great price. Remember, these are Canadian dollar prices and the average... Retail price in Canada is $16.99 for a pop, so to get four for 30 bucks, I think we did great. Next vendor I went to, um, I got a package deal on these three pops here for a weaponized Rick Chase from Rick and Morty. And I really love Rick and Morty. Actually, the I was like, well, what is the chase on this? So the chase is just the expression on his face. It changed the expression on his face there. So we got that chase. And as you know, I'm a big Hanna-Barbera fan. So there was this Wally Gator chase. And I, these are kind of strange chases to me. Because was there ever an episode where Wally Gator was purple? I don't know. These, I feel like they just did them to make it like four color, like a comic book. Not a big fan of these chases, but it's, it's cheap and it's Hanna-Barbera. So I wanted it. And the third one was the Benny the Ball from Top Cat. And that's a chase in other colors as well. So uh, these were $70 list price, and I got them for $60. Took $10 off for me taking all three. And then I went back to the same vendor later in the day, and we got this fall convention Wonder Woman. This was uh, New York City Comic Con, I believe. Yeah, fall's always New York City. 2018 fall convention Wonder Woman. And this is for like a golden age Wonder Woman. This is her first issue in Sensation Comics number one when they introduced her character. That's why she's got the skirt and golden uh, golden age 
And that's why there's all these gold accents on the box and in the background on the banner and everything. It looks great. I really like that one. And another convention piece I picked up from that vendor was the 2017 summer convention. That would have been a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Mr. Clark, the science teacher from Stranger Things. These were marked at $25 each and I got them for $20 a piece. So $40 for both on those. I was very happy. I mean, honestly, you know, $20 a piece for figures that retail would be $16.99 or more. Now, remember, convention exclusives, sometimes they charge more for. These are about retail with tax, right? So $16.99 plus tax plus 13% sales tax in Canada. You're up to about $20 bucks a pop. So that was a great price. And then my wife won a door prize. Um, they had a thing where every person who got a ticket, you put, you submitted your ticket and you got to pick a ball out of a little mini Pokeball thing and you open it up and it told you if you had a prize. So she won a prize and she was able to pick anything from the prize table. And she said, here, I picked this because it was the only thing I saw that had said Funko on it. So you're welcome. <laughs> so she brought me this Andre 3000 12 inch Funko gold figure. Andre 3000 from Outcast. We're going to shake him like a Polaroid picture. Shake it, shake it. This is a super heavy figure. I think these retail for like 40 bucks. So that was nice. Um, I honestly saw that these were going on clearance at some places. And I thought, oh, that'd be neat to pick up. But I never did see one. So I'm assuming that the prize table people were able to take advantage of, the, of a clearance price at some point and just put these out as prizes that would uh, help them lift the value by them being able to get it cheap and then you know you feel like you got a substantial prize right and they works out for everybody because they wind up saving money when they buy it and stuff but yeah that's you know $40 retail piece this is very heavy lots of vinyl into that um I don't I don't collect the Funko gold because you know it's another line of musicians and athletes is generally what they make another line of figures to get into and I have just taken a pass some people like it but I just uh, I just skip Funko Gold because you know between this and me not collecting sodas and picking up sodas here and there it's a lot of stuff so and then I met Josh from Funko News Canada he that's how I actually knew about this thing is because he said he was going to be there and I said well I'd like to meet Josh and plus the event looks great so I went down there and met Josh Josh gave me some stickers are they in the bag here gosh I don't know I think they might be in my other bag upstairs. So I would love to show you the Funko News Canada stickers that Josh gave me, but it doesn't seem like they're here. Uh, and I thank Josh for everything that he does for the community, always letting us know what's available to us here in Canada, things that are going on in Canada. Much appreciated for all the work that he does for the community. And uh, you know, when you appreciate somebody, I believe you should tell them so. So that's what I did. All right, after that, we kept on shopping and I found another vendor here who had some stuff that I wanted and we made a package deal on these four pops. So I missed this at my Hot Topic when this came out. This was delayed, the WonderCon 2021 Enchantress from the Beauty and the Beast movie. She's the one who enchants the rose in the first place and turns the beast into the beast. Um, you know, you you know the curse. You're familiar with the film. So I missed this one, and there was like a, a bunch of problems with if you got a stickered one or a non-stickered one. So I thought I can finally pick this up. So that was marked $25, but we got a deal on everything. We'll calculate it here at the end. So we had Enchantress, and then I got this one, which I had been trying to find a good price on eBay to get this shipped down to my mom's house, but this one's creeping up in value. So this was the Junji Ito Soichi, and this was the 2020 uh, New, York Sim New York City Comic Con Fall Convention exclusive, where he has the candles on his head and the nails in his mouth. There's a regular Soichi, and this is the special one here. So uh, yeah, I've had a hard time getting this one. So I think he had that one marked $20 as well. And then after that... I got the Gomez Adams Chase from the Adams family here. Uh, the 
The chase has him with the fencing sword in hand. The normal one just has his hand down at its side. This is the chase, so that's a nice one. He had that one marked at 25 as well. So, so far we're up to uh, $70. And then finally, there was this Duck Dodgers chase. So this is Daffy Duck as his Duck Dodgers persona. This is the chase where it's a metallic, uh, the metallic uniform instead of just normal teal plastic. So pretty happy to get that one. And this one is $40. So what did I say we were at? 50, 60, 70. Um, so 110 and he gave me all four of them for 90. So it was like $5 off per figure on these prices. Pretty happy with that. Especially, you know, 20 bucks for Gomez, $15 for Soichi, 20 bucks for the Enchantress. Some really great prices at this thing. I'm very happy that I went to it. Okay, what else do we got here? I think after that, we're just into the cheapies here. So I picked up this Qbert for 10 bucks. I think that was the only thing that they had at their table that I needed. So I couldn't get any package deal discount. Hard to talk somebody down from a $10 price. I love the Qbert. Uh, I love this video game series. I, I still need to complete my Pac-Man set. I have a couple of the Pac-Man pops, but not all of them. But Qbert, that's a really great pop. Love it, love it. And then another table we went to. I got these pops here. And these were all $5 each. So we got Rose Wilson, a Toys R Us exclusive from Teen Titans Go. It's got a little bit of a kerfunkel here on the box, but for five bucks for a pop that I didn't have, I went ahead and added that to my pile. And then I got two pops from Star Trek Beyond that I didn't have. These are from 2016 before I started collecting. Same thing with uh, Teen Titans Go. That was 2017 before I started collecting. So we got these from Star Trek Beyond, the Crawl, and the um, the Jayla. So I needed both of those. They had some of the crewmates there, but I already had them. Luckily, I had my Funko app, and I was able to scan them and see what I had there. So they had three crew members. Uh, they had Chekhov, Uhura, and Sulu, but I had all those already. But I was happy to pick up um, the two aliens, so that's another couple towards my set for that. And finally, we got a Grey Worm for five bucks. Five bucks for these last four here. The two Star Trek and the Teen Titans Go and Grey Worm for five bucks from Game of Thrones, which I thought was a great price. My wife said, I thought you weren't going to do Game of Thrones. And I'm like, well, five for five bucks, I'm going to pick it up. So I don't have many Game of Thrones, but I have a few. So that was what we picked up. I think it was, I don't know, 18, 19 Funko Pops in all. Oh, here we go. Here's my sticker. Funko News Canada was in the bottom of the bag. I think there was a smaller sticker too, but I don't see that here. I'll keep hunting. That's what we got. So my wife's Mother's Day was filled with shopping for Funko Pops. <laughs> My wife's wonderful. That was it wasn't actually Mother's Day. It was Saturday. The next day was all about her. So uh oh. So we had a great time. Uh they have another Funko Pop Palooza coming up in June in Mississauga as well. Uh don't know if I'll go to that. We'll see what the schedule looks like. But uh, there's also the Niagara Comic Con, which will have a lot of Funko Pop content there too. So I might have to pick and choose what I'm gonna do. But yeah, for my first ever like toy show convention experience for Funko Pops, I had a great time and I'm very happy with what I got. I made up my mind early that I was going to go for smalls like this, like I did. And I don't collect the same thing that everybody else does. So I knew that I could probably get some unique pieces that, um, that I was looking for, that there wouldn't be a lot of competition to get that I would be able to, you know, get some package deals if I bought in bulk. Um, I did have the opportunity to, um, to buy some larger ticket items if I so desired. There was like a Toucan Sam there for $175 or Metallic Toucan Sam for $600. That one might be a little overpriced. 
Um, and there was also a Pebbles and Bam Bam Funko Shop exclusive for about $150 each, which I considered, but I, you know, had made up my mind that I wanted to approach it this way by picking up a lot of smalls in bulk rather than spending a lot of money. Oh, and one more thing. I knew I was going to meet Josh, so I brought some stickers to hand out to Josh just as Josh from Funko News Canada gave me his sticker. But what I wasn't expecting was to be recognized at the, this uh, Funko Papa Palooza, and thanks to Abby for reaching out and saying that you watch my channel, and I'm happy to pass some stickers on to you. Thank you so much for your support. It was great to meet you, and uh, best wishes in all your collecting endeavors in the hobby. And thanks for watching. One other thing that I did get that I just couldn't pass up was one of these NFT pops. This was Elroy Jetson. I got that for $70, which I thought was an incredibly fair price. So this Elroy Jetson, it says it's out of 1,635 pieces made. This is one of those where you had to buy the packs of cards and draw the legendary digital Elroy out of the card pack. And if you had that card pack, then you could turn it in and they would mail you this pop. So, you know, $70 was the best price i think that's a really great price for one of these digital pops given the limited piece counts and the difficulty of obtaining the card that's a really good deal on that one so um i do have this coming already <laughs> in the mail from uh, cards that i bought on the aftermarket so this will be a duplicate for me but uh yeah i, I just couldn't pass up the price here so Hoping to maybe trade this for an Astro or something in the future. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this one. And it's Dead Mint, which people have been saying horror stories about, you know, the shipping sometimes on these not being so great. So I thought this might be an insurance policy for when mine arrives. That this one, um, in case there is some damages, is that this can be a placeholder for mine at a good price. So that was my biggest ticket item that I bought at the convention. And... Overall, again, great experience. Can't say enough about it. But that's all I have to show you today. Thank you so very much for watching. As always, I appreciate the time you spend here with me on my channel. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.